Hey, how's it going? It's Nick here. Thought I'd do a video on the depth of market, um, kind of what I'm looking at and how I use it for, to make entries and maybe uh, take a position off. So let me just uh, kind of run you through what you're looking at here on the Jigsaw DOM. Here are the sitting orders, the limits for bit. In this column, you have the sitting offers or asks. In the middle column, you have the trades being hit into those levels, and they go diagonally. It's kind of hard to see here. It's a 92946 before it opens. But once this thing gets cleaned up and gets going, it's unpaused, you'll see. Uh, it is hard to see on the NASDAQ, though. This thing moves really fast. So being able to see the actual orders hitting the levels kind of difficult. But you'll see uh, the buyers hitting in and buying this level uh, with market orders. Likewise, the sellers are trying to push it down. And that's the only way this thing's going to go up and down, market orders. Uh, if you use a limit order, it just sits there until, until the other side hits your order. In this column here, this is the stacking and pulling. So they added four to the bids, added three to the offers. So if it's a negative, they took those away from the resting orders. Um, you can identify some key levels with that when they'll start. You'll see abnormal order sizes here, and they'll just keep refreshing it with 100, 100, 100. Or as it's approaching that level, they just start pulling it off. So some things to look at there. Also with the current trades in the middle, I have momentum tails turned on. So as this is being bought up, you'll see a nice blue uh, colored tail going. Likewise, when it comes down, you'll see a red tail. And it just shows you kind of how far it moved. Uh, helps me for the NASDAQ because this thing moves really far, really quick. Over here, you have the volume profile. In this column, you have the trade column, where if you enter a trade, that's going to show you your position. And here you have an alert window where you could type whatever you want into there. So if we think 14700 is key level, type that. We could type point of control, VWAP, um, anything. Uh, I'll sometimes use X's, and depending on how many, I put the strength of the volume profile area. And all right, that's the depth of market there. So now what we're going to run through is watching momentum on here and talking through that and then looking for pauses to either join the momentum or turning points and all we're going to focus on is the depth of market not looking at anything else so you'll see when we open here this thing's going to really just take off um, every opens the same where it just takes off and then it'll reverse hard, whatever. Um, so you're not going to be able to read any of these numbers. You could glance and whatever, like a 27 hit 40, and it's getting stuck here, right? You could clearly see that it, it got stuck there. So then you're looking for, is it going to continue or reverse? Mainly what I'm looking at on here is the momentum and how it's going up. What kind of answer we had when they pushed down. So I push down there. You could try to get in right there at that pause. <clears throat> Put a safety stop. I like to clear the trades. It's stuck. You just mark it out. Now you see it coming back down. It's pause. Pause if you want to try to catch that bounce. Try to catch that bounce. It's stuck. Just get out. Didn't get it. You could mark it out. Or try that with the stop. That's kind of what we're looking for. So you could clearly see like where it's not moving, right? And then it does start moving. And then they just had some selling pressure, but got taken right out. Now it's moving up. We're making new highs. Had 280 go into this level here. So lots of orders. That means the sellers are trying to hold that, but uh, the buyers took it out. And uh, as you get more practice with the depth of market, you'll kind of learn the ebb and flows, and it changes every day. So 
you'll get into a rhythm of of like the waves and then sometimes you could kind of ride those waves so like it pushes up comes down enter and then hopefully the wave continues with the same rhythm that it was in kind of the same cadence and then you know once that cadence changes you know, that could signal to you one of many things a momentum shift a reversal continuation yeah so as we see we're not making new highs here um, just kind of back and forth back and forth so as you watch this you're trying to determine who's going to be the winner so so far looks like the sellers are starting to push pretty well <clears throat> You see the volume profile building right there as we're going through some price discovery. You see 364 was traded at 740. So someone was uh, defending that level. Then I, uh, I just hotkey, clear my trades, keep it clean. Gets a little busy, you know. That's just a glitch, that color right there. Jigsaw is awesome, it's not perfect, but I couldn't trade without it. And this is really, as you're just watching this, I mean, I'm sure you could determine some ebbs and flows already, where you're like, oh, maybe I'd get in there, maybe that. Oh, look at this momentum going up. Are we going to break that 59? 52 is into it. They're adding. You could have this snapshot, so you could have the offers next to it, but I just... It's hard to read the numbers, so I'll just watch this sometimes. So, some nice defending here. Couldn't break the level. Now we're going to try again. You can see the difference on what's being added to the offers and what's being added to the bids right there. Yep, and then the sellers start pushing it down. Look for maybe that little push up. Maybe try to take a short, get a get a stop in there. That's what good that's what's good about Jigsaw. You got the auto so it knows where you're clicking and on what side to make it a limit or make it a stop. Very, very helpful. Come back into this higher volume node. So these high volume areas become magnets. And then you test each side of them before moving to another volume node. That's kind of how the rhythm goes with price discovery and auction market theory. Is you're trying to find the acceptable price. Okay. If you could see the selling pressure is increasing, momentum's coming down. We just got right back to that key level we put earlier. So we moved down quite a ways. Now the bounce. And then if you were trying to follow the continuation, you could get in there. And we start coming down. Just take your profits. Be happy. Oh, it continued. <laughs> Don't let that bother you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with practice, you can see how valuable this is. And I don't think there's a better depth of market for the retail trader than Jigsaw. This is what proprietary traders love, all this information. Um, this this tells you exactly what is happening in that candle like if you're looking at a candle chart and you're like what where is it gonna go you're not gonna get that information that's why this is so valuable um, I'll do another video on kinda how I use the candle charts um, I always say I don't trade off of them but I mean it's a good depiction of what happened so for the historical context they're definitely valuable and sometimes patterns do repeat themselves but everybody's looking at those patterns and 
everybody's trying to take each other's money, so they're they're gonna give you the bait so they could wreck your day. But I mean, they could play tricks on here, but this is as a uh, as real as it gets. Looking at this thing, I would definitely take the time to learn it. I uh, I wouldn't be able to trade without it. Let's see if there's anything else to talk about. Um, yep, so we still buying support. I mean, you're just going to have to paint the picture in your head. Be aware of the prices. That's why sometimes having a chart is a good reminder of the prices and where you're at. Um, you don't need it, obviously. You could just look at this. Um, and then just look at the momentum shifts. All right, so this is just an introduction to the depth of market. Obviously, you could come up with your own strategies and uh, your own playbook for how you use the depth of market. Uh, this is just what I'm kind of looking at right now. Obviously, where we're at in the bigger picture of things influences what I'm thinking and what I want to see on a depth of market. Um, but if you've never seen one before, hopefully this helps. And if you haven't seen Jigsaw Depth of Mark before, it is amazing. And I couldn't trade without it. Um, yeah, I do have like a link on my channel. And it'll give you a discount for Jigsaw. And uh, occasionally they'll run $100 off. So if you combine those two, um, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, that's going to conclude this video. Um, if anybody has questions, please put them in the comments. And then I'll compile those to maybe do a part two video on something that maybe I overlooked or didn't talk about or need to expand on a little further. Uh, but yeah, this has been an introduction to Depth of Market. Hope you liked it. See you later.